Hello, I'm Mike Russell from musicradiocreative.com. In this video, I'm going to give you some voiceover editing tips and tricks. Coming up in this video, we'll look at punch and roll in Adobe Audition, a ninja tip for editing your words midway to make them flow, and we'll finish up with a tip from my friend Darren Altman on making your voiceover sessions easy to edit. Let's start with punch and roll in Adobe Audition. So here we are in the multi-track. This only works in the multi-track, by the way, and it's easy to punch and roll anything you want to do. What is punch and roll? Well, it's simply finding a part of your voiceover to Twitter and Facebook. This bit here, head on over right now to Twitter and Facebook. Unfortunately, the client wanted me to say to Facebook and Twitter. So in order to get the energy, the inflection, the tone correct, I need a bit of a pre-roll. This is what punch and roll is. It'll play me some of the clip beforehand, and then I get my chance to retake. Now, to enable this, if you haven't got it enabled already, you need to right click and select punch and roll mode. I've already done that. The arrow with the uh, line there will appear over the record button. This is the normal view and this is the punch and roll view. So now when I'm ready to punch and roll, I just select the audio here to Twitter and Facebook. And then I make sure to arm the track for recording. One, two, one, two. That's my microphone. And then let's hear a little bit and then punch in here. If you have any questions, suggestions, or feedback, head on over right now to Facebook and Twitter and like, share, and get involved. There we go. And then we can play that back and have a little listen. Head on over right now to Facebook and Twitter and like. Okay, so there's just a little bit of uh, a, a, an error. So I want to take it again. So just select the area. Stop here. If you have any questions, suggestions, or feedback, head on over right now to Facebook or Twitter and like, share, and get involved. So you can do this as many times as you want until you get the punch you want, and they all appear on top of each other there, so you will never lose a punch in that you do. This can work for voiceovers, it can work for mistakes in podcasts, anything where you need to hear a little pre-roll before you say your piece. And by the way, if you go into the Preferences menu in Adobe Audition and have a look through here, you will actually find under Playback and Recording, you can change the pre-roll duration of your punch and roll. So at the moment, by default, it's five seconds, you might want three seconds, you might want more or less. It's all possible here. And you can also display a pre-roll countdown timer in the video box if you're working with video narration as well, which is super cool. Now, onto my next tip, which is editing midway through words. This is something I use literally all the time when I'm in the studio. Let's pull this up, and this is a little voice over here. Let's play it. If you would like to sponsor this podcast, if, if you would like to sponsor this podcast, visit our website. So as you can see, I, I stumbled there. I said podcast wrong in the initial take, but I just picked back up and I said the take again. So how do we edit that best and make it sound natural? Uh, well, let's have a listen through. If you would like to sponsor this podcast. So the best tip here is to edit midway through a word. Don't try to edit at the end of a sentence or the end of a word. Try and edit midway. Like to sponsor this pod. Okay, to sponsor this podcast, I can't edit because that's where I made the mistake. To sponsor this, but in the middle of sponsor, sponsor this, sponsor this. This is going to be a sponsor this pod. perfect place to edit. Now we just need to find that over here to sponsor this podcast. So we've got sponsor this. We got that sponsor this and that. And then if we make the edit just about here, that should be seamless. Delete play. If you would like to sponsor this podcast, visit our website. Absolutely fantastic and so easy to do with just a few clicks. Punch and roll and editing midway through words really will help you when you're recording voiceover sessions. Finally, I'll finish up with a tip from my voiceover friend, Darren Altman. You may already know him, but if you don't, do go and find him and follow him on social media. He's an extremely entertaining voiceover artist. Darren, take it away. Every time uh, you see those spikes, the two Ta ta um, it's basically where I've made a mistake and it gives me a visual representation of where the error is. So what I can do, even without playing it back really, is just pick that up, delete it, and away I go. It's just a really quick workflow. So as I read and I make a mistake, I just go um, and then when I'm editing, um, it's really simple. So this is what I do. Are you ready to sell? Then turn unwanted items into cash. With Spock, it's easy and fast. No fees, no hassle, and no reason not to. Spock is the marketplace that makes selling and buying second-hand items Three tips for you to take away when working with and editing voiceovers, punch and roll in Adobe Audition, editing midway through words, and the click technique for ninja super fast editing uh, from Darren there. Let me know how you're editing voiceovers in the comments down below.